and I'ma get it. You know I be on the way. What is going on legends and welcome to another video. Today is going to be a day in the life, full day of eating and me going over everything I do to biohack and optimize for performance. Let's run it, let's get excited, let's have a big day, let's go. Sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Alright, so with some pro tips when you're cooking eggs or cooking anything, you want to use a stainless steel pan just so you don't get any forever chemicals absorbing into your food. And we want to use ghee to cook with instead of canola oil just because we want to avoid seed oils at all costs. And this also has a high smoking point of 485 degrees. Olive oil tends to have a lower smoke point so it can turn into a carcinogen quicker. So definitely go with ghee when cooking. And then when you're going to make some eggs, always go with pasture raised eggs. Absolutely amazing. All right, so for breakfast, we got the staple. We got three whole eggs with the yolks runny as hell so we don't lose any nutrients. Then we got a couple blueberries. We have a 20 gram Oikos protein yogurt. Then we're going to slather some organic jam on some Dave's toast and some peanut butter. And then of course we're gonna top off the eggs with some Parmigiano Reggiano cheese which just makes the eggs taste so much better and they're so much more nutrient dense. Your boy's been absolutely sleeping on Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. For the last like two weeks I've been on an absolute kick with this thing. So high in protein, so high in zinc, so high in iron, manganese, biotin, legit so good for you and so nutrient dense. Whereas other cheeses are loaded with crap, preservatives, and they're pretty much all pasteurized, which this is non-pasteurized and made with raw cow's milk. So you're legitimately getting the best cheese you possibly could. So all I literally do is just get a cheese grater. I know that this cheese grater is absolutely massive, but it's all I got. And then we just sprinkle it all over. We just sprinkle it all over the eggs, just like so. And I got my Parmigiano Reggiano cheese at Whole Foods, but make sure when you do get it, you get it with this emblem on it, the, like this Parmigiano Reggiano emblem, and then this other logo, whatever. This means it's legit and straight from Italy. So get on the Parmigiano Reggiano game, because it's absolutely fire. All right, so we're mixing up our supplements right now before session number one. We are taking our creatine and electrolytes. I've been trying to bump up my electrolytes to like 2,000 to 3,000 milligrams of sodium every single day, if not more, especially during the summer heat where I'm sweating a ton during training. And then we're ripping 300 milligrams of magnesium and krill oil. Just check the whoop, sleep was solid last night, got four hours and 30 minutes of combined REM and deep, which is what we want. We want to shoot for about three and a half hours of combined REM and deep every single night. And that'll be super optimal for our system in order to perform and operate on a day-to-day -day basis. So definitely shoot for that. And remember, it's not about the quantity, it's about the quality of your sleep. So for session one today, we have some handstand work with some echo bike, some like VO2 max stuff. And then we're gonna strap on the Garmin and the Garmin heart rate monitor and do some zone two work. So I'm gonna finish this all up and catch you guys there. All 
All right, so we just did that workout as a primer before our 45 minutes of zone two. So what we just did was against the clock. So against the 90 second clock, we did 50 foot sled push, 10 cal like a bike, and then 50 foot handstand walk, rest 90 seconds, six sets. So that definitely gets the shoulders fatigued and it gets, it gets the shoulders fatigued after you do the echo bike. So that right there is just to help improve VO2 max and kind of test my body in between like aerobic and anaerobic limits so that I can push my threshold and can pretty much get a better VO2 max and also tolerate pain more. So now I'm gonna build my base by doing some zone two work on the echo bike for like 45 minutes. So I will wear the Garmin heart rate monitor around my chest and then I'll strap it up to my Garmin and then I try to stay below 145 the entire time. Like 145 to 155, because I followed the math method. So 180 minus 25, 155, you stay around that range. I just don't want, I want to be at the point where I can talk and I want to be at the point where I can breathe through my nose the entire time. And focusing on my breath is so important to me because if you can control how much carbon dioxide you're taking in, you're going to be able to get more oxygen to your tissue and you're not going to be able to feel as shitty during these type of workouts. So focusing on my breath and really honing that in during low intensity work is key. So I'm gonna rip this up now and then we'll be out of here. All right, so we just got back from session number one. We just worked for about two hours and now I'm down here in the studio where I wanna to talk to you guys about three things that I've been thinking about a lot lately. So the first thing is this, so pretty much, obviously you guys know I train 30 hours a week, double sessions, triple sessions, and my main focus is improving my cardiovascular system and just moving the body forward every single day. So I'm sweating like crazy. And I started to realize that I was getting a little brain fog, some fatigue, and I was like, you know, everything's pretty dialed, everything's super optimal with my sleep, my nutrition, hydration, so I thought. And then I was like, you know what, maybe I'm low on sodium, maybe I'm low on electrolytes. Because when we sweat, we lose sodium, potassium, and magnesium, right? And I sweat like crazy throughout the day. And I was only taking in about 1,000 to 1,500 milligrams of electrolytes daily. And that was not cutting it. Because they've done studies that show preseason NFL football players lose between 15 to 30 grams of sodium every single day. And that's kind of the output I'm putting out right now being 217 pounds, training five hours a day. So I was losing so much nutrients in my body was like, Drew, what the hell are you doing? So I invested in this book called The Salt Fix by Dr. James D. Nicolantonio. And he pretty much talks about how much athletes and why salt is so good for you. So I bumped up my electrolyte intake to like 3,000 to 5,000 milligrams every single day. And I feel so much better because I'm replenishing my sodium, potassium, magnesium that I'm losing. And I'm feeling so great, feeling more powerful. I'm able to endure longer during workouts and I'm not like lethargic and like super brain fogged. So that has been huge for me. So if you guys want to invest in a book, definitely check out this book right here. And the biggest takeaway I got from it is don't blame salt for what sugar does in terms of health and longevity and performance. And then the second thing I want to talk about when it comes to reading and taking in information is have your bullshit meter on, right? So if you read Never Finished by David Goggins, which I think is an absolutely great read, don't just turn into David Goggins because you read the book. You know what I mean? Like take what he does and apply it to your life. Don't go, don't go feeling like you need to like be insane and run 100 mile, 100 mile ultra marathons just because you read the book. You will burn out. Remember, take bits and pieces from these and apply it to your life. Not everything that everyone is saying is applicable to your life. So take what you need and then you will continue to grow this way instead of being like, I want to become this dude and then plateau in like two weeks. So that's the biggest piece of advice I can give you when it comes to reading and gaining knowledge to optimize your life, business, friends, family, mental health, mindset, whatever. And also take a Sharpie or take a pen and write notes while you're reading and you will retain so much more information. And especially when you want to go back and learn, especially when you want to go back and understand what you just learned, it is huge to just skim through and then you'll have all the good parts highlighted. So when you go and you try to apply it to your life, you don't have to reread the book, everything's just there. 
And the last thing I want to talk about, and something that I talk about in my newsletter that I send out every single Wednesday, I say thoughts that I'm thinking about this week. And it's a concept that I pretty much think about every single day, 24 hours a day, and that's no one's coming to save you. No one is going to come into your life and take you to the promised land. You control your destiny, whether you believe it or not. Yes, everyone has different circumstances in life, but don't let those circumstances define you no matter how hard they are. You can get through it. I promise you, I believe in you. And just know that no one's coming to save you. Go out, find information, be the most disciplined, consistent person you know, never take no for an answer, and just continue on this path. All right, so now we're gonna go eat our bison and rice for lunch, and then prepare our supplements and head back to session number two. Mm. All right, we got that bison and rice going here. 220 grams of bison from Dakota Pure Bison. And then we got 300 grams of jasmine rice and some carrots. So let's scarf that down. Mm -mm -mm. So now that we finished our bison and rice, now we're prepping all of our stuff. <coughs> oh God, pre-workout in my throat. For session number two. So what I do for pre-workout is I do 150 milligrams in the morning and the 150 milligrams in the afternoon. Just so I kind of can have that stimulant in me without being too stimmed out. So like I'm not gonna take a pre-workout that has 300 milligrams in the morning and 300 milligrams of caffeine in the afternoon. So staying at like 150 is perfect. And then we blast five grams of creatine every single day. And then we take our electrolytes, which I will do. I'll take these Santa Cruz medicinal ones with me so I can have them in here. But right now I'll do two scoops of hydrate from Transparent Labs. Then I got my banana and my Go Go Squeeze electrolyte applesauces that I will have intra workout. I obviously can't stress enough how important it is just to have a lunch box and have your stuff prepped for your sessions so you don't plateau and feel like crap during your workouts. It's just so important and it's gonna make a massive difference overall. Just because how many times you've been in the gym and you're like, oh, I feel fatigued, I feel like I'm gonna plateau, like I can't lift what I wanna lift. And like, if it can be fixed by an applesauce into a workout, I think that that's gonna make, I think the juice is worth the squeeze in that, in that scenario. So definitely just invest in your health and invest in your intra workout supplements because it's super beneficial and super important. All right, so we just got done warming up for our squat clean cycle. So pretty much we're gonna do every minute and 30 for 12 minutes. We're gonna accumulate some volume and then we're gonna accumulate some even more volume with cleans and then finish off at 285, which is about 80%. This is a good change up from what I have been doing. I have been doing a lot of singles and doubles to increase strength. So doing it in a shorter time domain will help with strength endurance and just kind of allow my CNS to recover this week and maybe get heavier next week. Alright, now the cycling is getting a little harder. We're gonna do 230 for four, but still doable. It that hurts, but it's checkmate. We ain't selling short, no to work. Ain't nowhere to hide. You ain't gotta see me come and keep me on your mind. Cause I'll be on the work. You know I'll be on the work. We just crushed that. Cycling went super well, happy with how it moved. Um, 265 for two and then 285 for one. Felt really good. Obviously, it's only 80% of my max, so CNS feels primed and ready to go. Now we got some back squats. Let's see what we can do. Here's a lot of hard work that's over everything. It's that comeback. I'm caught in place, hit the past, then the run back. Yeah, I'm far ahead and got a run last. But we ain't letting up, we never done that. Ain't nowhere to hide. You ain't gotta see me come and keep me on your mind. Cause I'll be on the way. Yeah. You know I'll be on the way. Man on a mission, I'ma get it. You know I'll be on the way. Yeah. I'm on the way. Uh, on the way.
back squats in the book. Just hit 385, 395, 405, and 420 for two sets of three. Felt good. Bar was moving pretty easy considering all the endurance work and volume I've done this week. I could have pushed it to 430, 440 for a triple, but I'm not gonna do that. So now I have four sets of dumbbell hang cleans, GHD sit-ups, and rowing. So I'll show you that, and then we're bouncing. So we just got back from our fifth hour of training. Right after those cleans, we went and had a protein shake and a banana, and then we went on a 60 minute zone two run with Liz, trying to keep my heart rate around 150. Like I said, I'm trying to get in between four to five hours of zone two a week to build my capacity. And it's one of those things that I've found that on top of my training and my work and everything else in my life, making content, it becomes a lot. But as long as you put systems in place in order to hammer those hours here and there, you're going to get the work done. So just find times in your schedule, block out an hour and don't miss it and just stay consistent with it. That's the same thing with everything. I was talking to my buddy last week about how he wants to get into email marketing for like his business and stuff. I'm like, hey, block out two hours on a Wednesday and never miss that Wednesday for the rest of your life. Just keep hammering it every week. And that way you'll, you'll know every single Wednesday and everyone else will know that's email day for two hours, an hour, whatever it may be and you were just gonna continue to compound that because you've created a system and that time's there. And you know if you skip that time, you're just cheating yourself. So don't do that. So it's 750 right now and I just took my 4,000 milligram of sodium. Super hot out today, so getting that all done and getting the sodium in feels great. Now I'm gonna cook up some chicken, get in the shower, do some work, and continue with the rest of my night. All right, so didn't even realize, but I got a book from Amazon, Rental Property Investing. Just trying to expand my mind in real estate. I try to get a book a week. I try to read a book a week just to continue learning. And remember, knowledge is power. So that's kind of the concept that I go by. And then for dinner, dishwasher's broken, so we're going with paper plates. Not super optimal, but we do what we do. We got some chicken, some rice, some tomatoes, and some, some summer squash. So I'm gonna house this down, probably have two plates and then get to work and get some mobility done and chill. Before 5 p.m. and they deliver by 6 a.m. at night. I like to help where I can. So if any questions come up. All right guys, so we're at the point of the night where we're getting our late night meal in. We just did the Mark Pro to recover the legs, activates the lymphatic system, gets my legs primed for the next day. It really does work and I love it. I've used it every single day for the past like four years. And then we did some work and we threw on white collar, great show. And so for this late night meal, we got mangoes, which I've been getting every week. Mangoes at Whole Foods, super good, super optimal. Didn't realize how big the seed was of an actual mango. Like the mango is like this big and you get like a third of the fruit of what the size of the mango is because the seed's so massive. But besides the point, it tastes pretty good and it's super nutrient dense. Then we got some strawberries, Dave's Bagels with Teddy's PB, an RX bar, an Olipop, and Oikos protein yogurt. So the big thing for me is getting as many calories as I can a day in because if I start to see my, my number on the scale go down every single morning, I know that I'm burning more than I'm consuming. So that's why I check my weight every single morning so I can see that I'm making progress, I'm either maintaining or slightly gaining muscle and weight. And I think the last thing I wanna talk about in this video is just believe that you can do it, make a plan, take the steps every single day, and literally just don't take no for an answer, and understand that things, good things take time, right? It's going to take a long time, but it's the people that can withstand the hard times for the longest that are going to see massive results. So you may not be doing what you want right now in terms of your goals and your dreams, but you will get there. Just keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. I know it's hard, but I believe in you and the people around you do believe in you too, whether you believe that or not, and keep showing them that you're 
capable of so much. And with that being said, I'm going to end the video here. You guys truly mean the world to me. Everyone watching this video, it truly just fuels me and keeps me going. And we're going to do this until the friggin' wheels fall off. So I'm super excited to just keep making YouTubes, keep making content, and keep growing with you guys on this journey. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.